Good morning. Good morning. Men of Galilee, why gaze and wonder in the heaven at the heavens? This Jesus, whom you saw ascending into heaven, will return as you saw him go. Alleluia. Alleluia. As we begin Mass for the solemnity of the ascension of the Lord, we will sing, Hail the day that sees him rise. celebrate this great feast of the ascension of our Lord into heaven. So let us begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the grace and the peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And again, as we prepare our minds and our hearts and our lives to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we first pause and ask God forgiveness for any way we have offended or or live, not live up to the great commission that Jesus gave us before he left us. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth. thanksgiving for the ascension of Christ your son is our exaltation and where the head has gone before in glory the body is called to follow in hope through our Lord Jesus Christ your son 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God 
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe, in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet, and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. spirit. A reading from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said, and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning again, everyone. Good morning, Father. Happy Ascension Day. In, in many ways, uh, this really is our day. We, we are the ones that receive the challenge. I'm always uh, struck by the fact that <clears throat> when, the, uh, Deacon, when the gospel was read, or the end of the gospel, the end of the gospel according to the writer, the end of the gospel. But then the, uh, actually the apostles begins by saying the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles. 
And um, St. Luke wrote the Acts of the Apostles, the one we read today in all days. Uh, and today was starting out by two Theophilus. Theophilus, everybody wonders who or what Theophilus is. And there's been all kind of uh, <clears throat> ideas about that. May have been a person by the name of Theophilus that, that, that Luke was writing to. It's also thought that it's T-H-E-O-P-H-I-L-I-S, two words that come from the Greek, which mean God lover, God uh, lover of God. And I think uh, I prefer that translation myself because it's addressed to lovers of God and that's supposed to be all of us. So it was the end of the gospel as far as Jesus was concerned, three years, you know, exactly what God his Father asked us to do and to be. <clears throat> uh, gave us the sacraments, gave us the, especially the Eucharist to nurture us on the way, gave, gave us, as he said in the, in the readings today, the Holy Spirit to be with us always. And then the, the disciples, I, I always get a, a, a kick out of this. They're, they're up there when Jesus ascended back to the Father. They're standing there watching him. And somebody says, the angel says, don't just stand there looking up. Don't just stand there doing that. <clears throat> go, back to, go back to Jerusalem and, and do what he said for you to do. And that is to do everything that he did. That's what we're supposed to do. And he left us this great commission. It's a challenging one to say the least, <clears throat> but we, are, we immerse ourselves in, in, in the gospel. We'll hear it again during ordinary time, every Sunday, every Sabbath, every daily mass. We'll hear more and more and more about who Jesus was and is and what he wants us to do and what he wants us to be. Now it's our turn. We can't just stand looking up. We have to go out there and go back to our, our Jerusalems, our, our homes, our families, our workplaces, <clears throat> whatever it might be, our schools, and be the presence of Jesus to our words, be the gospel to us, the gospel to us. Someone once said that the, uh, every day, every day we, we go out there and do our, our discipleship, we are writing the gospel. We are writing our gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're writing it to us like Luke and Mark and Matthew and John did. Now it's going to be each one of us writing the gospel. And it's also been said that maybe, very maybe, uh, the only gospel some people will ever read is the gospel that we present to them. So it's an awesome responsibility, and we have to take it very, very seriously. You know, uh, I think God always gives us something to think about. Certainly in these pandemic days, we have lots to think about, lots to think about that. And uh, we also know that we are beginning to experience firsthand the, the shortage of clergy, of priests, especially, well, not, not especially, but also in our, our own diocese of Scranton. So it's gonna become more and more important that we all take on that role of teaching and be the gospel for one another. Be the gospel, be authentic witnesses to it. It's a challenging, challenging responsibility, but there is no question about the fact that, uh, that we're, we're given that responsibility. So we can also give a negative message as well, and that's what we have to, be, we have to guard against. I, I remember using a story one time about there were two cars parked at a red, red traffic light. And um, as soon as the light turned yellow and green, the first driver didn't start out right away. You know, sometimes it takes a couple of seconds to get your foot from the uh, brick to the accelerator. But this person behind, uh, behind him didn't have any patience. So he began blowing his horn, uh, giving all kind of negative signals, gestures. I'm not gonna tell you what they were, but you were just, just causing a big scene because uh, you know there was a delay there. And uh, <clears throat> the police happened to be on the corner and they came over and they arrested the man for all of this. They took him to the police station to be booked. And a after he was there for a while, that he said, officer, what, 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 what am I being arrested for? He said, well, I noticed on the back of your car, on the bumper, there was uh, one, one, one sticker that says, I'm a Catholic. Uh, another one said, pray the rosary, uh, I'm pro-life, uh, and all these kind of Catholic stickers. And I thought, I saw them and I heard your behavior. So we figured the car was probably stolen. And maybe that was some, a lesson that we can all take to heart. Are we giving the gospel in our actions or are we giving a negative message that maybe we are just doing the external system and, you know, the facade of it all. It's like, it's like a veneer of furniture 
has a beautiful surface but underneath is just cheap plywood or something would we have the, the gospel in our hearts and then proclaim it to the world to our actions our words our deeds how, how we t treat each each other opinions we have about each other rule out prejudice and all the other negatives that Jesus so clearly taught against. So yes, uh, this is a beautiful feast day of the ascension of the Lord. He completed his public ministry on earth, goes back to the Father, and then left each one of us, without exception, if we are the baptized, each one of us, to go out and continue to proclaim the gospel. Just looking up, watching, is not what we're called to do. We're called to go back to Jerusalem, back to our homes, and be the presence of the risen Lord. So let's have our petitions now as we gather uh, this day. Oh, I'm sorry, the creed. Uh, we, I, believe I believe in, in one, one God, God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And the church that Jesus left us <clears throat> that day of the ascension is a church which is his very presence in so many ways. And because of that, we very confidently offer these petitions to our Lord this morning. The response to our petitions will be, Lord, hear our prayer. That God's pilgrim people throughout the world follow the path of righteousness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That civil authorities provide properly for those in need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those living without hope find in the sacraments a source of hope, sustenance, and comfort, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That orphans and abandoned children know loving homes and wise guidance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who gather to praise the risen and ascended Lord share his peace and joy with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That life in all forms be respected in every way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all the emergency and medical personnel who are doing those jobs on the front line of society, be protected from harm, and that their resolve be strengthened. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the pastoral planning process and all who are involved be a successful endeavor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those in our parish who are preparing to receive, or have received, a sacrament, be guided by the truth of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the prayer requests received by our parish's ministry of prayer be heard and answered according to God's holy will. We pause now to remember our own personal intentions in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in Christ, Mary Koshoek, Walter Hazley Jr., and especially our Mass intention, Frederick Stansky. May they rest in the peace of our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And again, we ask Mary's intercession. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, grace the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As the gifts are presented at the altar, let us sing, We Have Been Told. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to heavenly realms. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as together we acclaim. Oh uh -huh. 
We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed a man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, <clears throat> so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them a covenant, and through the prophets taught them to look toward salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. <clears throat> he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits of those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O oh Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end, and while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of Faith. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that together, gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become the living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant, Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. 
Remember also those who have died in the peace of Christ. And, all, and this morning we remember Frederick Stensky and all the dead of whose faith you alone have known. And to all of us, your children, grant, O oh, merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your apostles, with St. Faustina, and all the saints in your kingdom, there with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. And peace to everyone who is viewing at home as well. Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my, roof, my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Alleluia. Alleluia. 
As we come forth to receive the body and blood of Christ in the Holy Eucharist, let us sing one love released. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. In our prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <clears throat> and now let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I ask you please to bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. <clears throat> may Almighty God bless you, for on this very day, his only begotten Son, pierced the heights of heaven and unlocked for you the way to ascend to where he is. Amen. And may he grant that as Christ after his resurrection was seen plainly by his disciples. So when he comes to, as judge, he may show himself mercifully to you for all eternity. Amen. And may you who believe he is seated with the father in his majesty, know with joy the fulfillment of his promise to stay with you until the end of time. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth to love and serve God and one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. As we go forth, let us stand our Easter joy as we sing, Go Make of All Disciples.
Thank you everyone for joining us for Mass this morning for the Solemnity of the Ascension of the Lord. We will be back tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for daily Mass, so you all take care. Have a wonderful day. Uh, stay safe. God bless. Happy Easter. He is risen and he has ascended. Alleluia.